Greetings and welcome to, I believe it is day nine of the 31 Days of Tarot Challenge 2019 um, by Ebony Dawn. Uh, let's see here. Um, the, the, the ninth prompt is Tarot Goals for 2018. Well, I wasn't really sure how to answer that because... Um, my initial responses that I will give you seem to be, uh, purely self-serving. They seem to be, um, all about, you know, building up a little bit of a tarot business. And I don't want to appear that that's my number one goal with sharing my tarot with you. Um, I love to do tarot readings. I do offer tarot readings, yes, but I don't want anybody to misconstrue that the channel that I have here and the information that I'm giving here is just about acquiring, uh, building up my tarot business. I don't, that's not what I'm about. I do not ascribe to being a full-time tarot reader. I'm retired. <laughs> I don't want to be a full-time anything. Uh, I'm a full-time crone. <laughs> But I do have to say, the longer that I have spent on YouTube, the more interested I have become in sharing my own tarot knowledge with other people. I think that my years of experience with tarot, but also my years of experience in being live, are kind of uh, are pretty valuable. I have some insight that I, I feel is worth sharing. And um, I think we all benefit by the more insight that we can share with each other, the better off we all are. So I, I, I get as much out of hearing other people interpret some of the cards as I think I give. But I would be lying if I did not say that I would love to have a little bit more, more opportunity to read tarot for others. So um, that being said, some of my goals for 2019 in tarot have to do with making decisions about where I want to go as a professional tarot reader. Um, I've had an Etsy store up for years. I don't think I don't think I've ever sold one Etsy read a reading on Etsy. I don't think I probably ever will. Most of the people on Etsy seem to be just you know there's first of all they're billion readers and secondly. They seem to be wanting giving them for practically nothing just to get the reading, which I don't do. I do in-depth readings only. I don't do the little shallow, give you one card readings. I don't really do that, so that's not my style. So I'm not sure if Etsy's really the place for my tarot reading things. I've had people suggest to me that I should offer email readings. Um, A picture of the file and then you know type up a little by reading um, that there are some people that have trouble that they you know have trouble maybe scheduling a Skype reading or or maybe they don't want a YouTube reading they really for whatever reason they maybe want to have the privacy of email coming to them rather than a, another way of reading I'm up in the air about that I don't know I've um, I have found that being able to talk my way through the cards and talk to the person themselves is very helpful. A YouTube reading that I can do as an unlisted reading is fine as long as I have some information about the person. I think I'm able to relate pretty well. And, and I still feel like I'm maybe speaking to you when I give you the reading. And I do, I have, those are full hour readings usually. I have some that I can do shorter if we want. But anyway... I'm, I'm, those decisions are yet to be determined. I, I'm not sure where to go with that. I do know that I also think I, you know, I've been making these, um, playlists on, for tarot. I know a lot of people that subscribe to my channel are not interested in tarot readings. They want other things. So I initially put the tarot related things into a playlist so that they could avoid them if they wanted to. Um, but... I'm not sure if I'm answering, I mean, I still get questions 
that I think I've already answered in some of the little tarot um, videos that I've made. Like when I went to my Wildwood series or when I did the the cat tarot, you know, comparing cards or, or, or I gave some um, insight maybe into how to read the cards in a spread, how to, you know, make a story. Um, I still am getting questions about the same things, which lead me to believe that maybe men being offering mentoring sessions is maybe a way I want to go. I'd love to be able to do that in person, but I know that we, um, we, you know, that I have subscribers all over the, all over the world, actually. So that's not practical. Um, but, and Skype sometimes is hard to, um, it's hard to schedule. So I'm trying to look into other things like maybe, I don't know, Google Hangout. I don't even know what those things are. I'm not likely to get into live uh, streaming. I don't know. I, I, that's a whole other subject. But anyway, um, so those are some of the things, the decisions that I have to make. I welcome any, any um, input that you have for me. You know, what you'd like to see me do, maybe. I do know I'm trying to improve my camera setup. Uh, if you've seen any of my recent videos, I talked about that one of my goals for this year was we were really um, reorganizing our three center rooms here. That's the big major, it's not a major project, but it's something that has to happen really soon in, in 2018 for a lot of reasons. And one of the reasons is I want to be able to have ease of, filming when I go to film I want to have you know cameras set up easy my lighting has to be improved I know that um, it takes me sometimes too long one to set up for a reading because I like to use two different cameras and things like that and sometimes it's just it takes me a little bit too long <laughs> so I sort of dread it but and I don't want to I want to be able to do it easily so that um, when people want to schedule something we can do some we can do so easily so that's something that I'm going to be working on um, in that. Other than that, tarot goals um, that don't have anything to do with a, a business of any kind. Um, I'm going to do a little bit more with um, combining uh, decks. I've been doing a lot. I did, oh, I don't know how many years ago, I did a... I did an experiment because I heard hard at the time people were saying do not combine Lenormand and tarot cards a lot of people were saying that and I thought that was kind of nonsense to me I thought they would really combine easily and I did I'm not sure what the year was I have a I did a special I ran there'll probably be a video that will tell you I ran a special because <laughs> I wanted to get as many opportunities to read those as I could to see if I liked the combination and I think I did a dozen or so during one month's time, combining my Hoi Polloi deck, which is a Rider Waite version, based deck, with a Lenormand deck, and as extra cards, and I did it as a combo of the Celtic Cross, plus, I don't know if I did maybe, how many cards I added onto that? Of the Lenormand, oh my goodness, it read so well. I love the, I love the combination so much that I offer that, I do offer that um, as one of my regular readings from my website. So, but, but I don't want to limit myself just to that combination. I would like to be able to, to really read through my cards and see what cards combine best with other cards. Because I think it's really important, not just that you combine, how you combine them, but what you combine, I think is a really important um, thing to consider. So that's a decision I'd like to sort of get uh, that done, that decision made for that. And also, I'm really learning, I'm really learning that different cards, different decks, I've said this before, different decks are brilliant for certain kinds of readings and not so for other kinds of readings. Um... And I would do, I had a pretty well established in my mind what I wanted to use, what decks I wanted to use at what time of the year, and for what kind of readings. But now that I have all these new decks, 
I need to revamp that system. So that's something that I'm going to be working on as well. I'm also going to be working more with Oracle decks. I have not worked with Oracle decks in the past. It's not been my thing at all. I don't know why. I think I mentioned the other day, perhaps the reason is when I first saw Oracle decks, they were so blah. <laughs> You know, they, were, they didn't really have any meat to them. They didn't have anything to offer. They were just a little deck. that. But now some of the Oracle decks are so cool, cool. They're really nice. They work well with others. They work well themselves. A lot of them do. And some of them you can use, you know, even to do spreads with, which, you know, I can see that that would work too. So I'm going to get more in touch with Oracle decks, for sure, that I have. And try to get the meat of the matter <laughs> for that. So those are my... Few of my goals for Tarot 2019, other than just enjoying also as many of you, your channels as I can. I'd love to please, if you would leave some links down below in the comment section to your channel, if you have a Tarot channel that you don't think I've seen, where you do, you know, especially if you're doing a little more than just walk through the decks. I love to see you walking through the decks. I love to see those. Don't get me wrong. I will watch those. But I'd also love to see, you know, how... I'll use different decks for different kinds of readings, etc. like that. So I'd love to see that. If you have anything to offer, please share it with me down below. Okay, that's all for today. That's all for that. And I think this was day nine. I think I got the last one mixed up the wrong number. I'm not even sure. I'm kind of confused about <laughs> what day is what. But anyway, because he's... Anyway, that was Tarot Goals 2018, and that's a wrap. And I'm Rebecca, and thanks for coming. I wish you blessings.